Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Oaknall Troll. I bring to you another Star Wars Galaxy tutorial. This video's focus is on four essential combat macros for every single character's toolbar. The macros that I will be covering in this video are for canceling macros, a way to quickly mount your speeder, the best way to loot and harvest creatures, and how to get out of combat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on Dantooine by this lovely waterfall. First thing that we're going to do as we show you these commands is bring up the command browser, control A. We're going to look at dump macros. So what this macro is actually designed to do is it's going to dump any type of active macro that you have going. It's going to clear any type of current combat that you have going on right now. And then it's going to try to piece. So this is something that you can go to if you have an active macro running and you're trying to get out of combat and stop any type of activity. So, so the next one we're going to look at, we'll look at it at the end of the video, which is mount speeder. And what it does is it's going to all the speeder that you have in your toolbar and then it's going to mount it for you. So it tries to activate it a few times just so it works correctly. So the third one that we're going to look at is loot corpse. And right now, you should have a macro so you don't have to do any type of radio button or double click. So you could click once and then click the macro, it's going to loot the corpse of anything. And then if you're a scout, right now I have it for harvest bone, but what you're going to you can change it if you're after hide or meat. Those are some of the options that you can change in there. And then the corpse all is going to try to loot anything, any corpse nearby. And then fourth macro that you want to have is Peace Now. So it's just like the dump macro, however the Peace Now, if you're running a macro and you don't want to dump the macro, but say you want to clear your combat queue so you could add in an Intimidate or Dizzy Knockdown, that's the one that you want to do so your macro will keep on running. But here we are on lock. What we're going to do is go in depth on the speeder mount macro. So we'll our command to look at it. And what it's going to do is it's going to activate UI action toolbar slot number 22, which is where I put the speeder bike that I generated from my data pad. So first I'm going to click it, it's going to generate the vehicle, then a second later it's going to mount it. And that's just done with one click, very simple. I'm going to store it again, this time I'm going to hold shift and start walking forward and then I'm going to click the button. It will generate the vehicle and mount it as I am currently walking, which will give me a head start moving to my next destination. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.